Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show Massachusetts State Championship with Lexington High School. <laughs> Taking on Andover High School. Next on High School Quiz Show. The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. <laughs> Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa, and this is it. Uh, we are down to the final two teams. This is the match that determines who will be the 2018 High School Quiz Show state champion. And they get to take home this coveted trophy. Now, today, it's Andover High School who defeated Phillips Academy in the semifinals, taking on Lexington High School, who defeated Brookline High School. And on the Andover team, uh, we have Ian, Frank, Neil, and Omkar, with alternates Anurag and Ashwin, and coaches Alan Habino and Krista Habino. And for Lexington, we have Stephen, Charles, Arushi, and Nick, with alternates Brendan and David, and coach Dan Milia. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head -head category, and a lightning round. And we'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. Stretching from British Columbia to New Mexico, what is the longest mountain range in North America? Neil. Rocky Mountains. Yes, what 1966 book by Mario Puzo popularized the saying, I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Frank. The Godfather. Yes, Clarissa, the spoken dialogue computer on the International Space Station, was programmed to understand what two spoken languages. Charles. English and Russian. Yes, first airing in 1989 and still going strong. What is the longest running scripted primetime TV series in American history? Charles. Saturday Night Live. No, Andover, you want to try it? Ian. Simpsons. Simpsons is right. Take a look at your screens. What author pictured here wrote the 1937 novel, Their Eyes Were Watching God, one of the first major novels written by a black woman? Yes, Frank? Zora Neale Hurston. That is correct. In the novel, Watership Down, what kind of animals are Hazel and Fiverr? Uh, Frank? Rabbits. Yes, HIV continues to be a major global public health issue. Of the estimated 40 million with HIV, the vast majority live in what continent? Yes, Charles. Africa? Yes. What Boston Red Sox manager was fired in October 2017, two days after the team was eliminated from the playoffs? Yes, Frank. Farrell. John Farrell is right. What mountain range separates China from the Indian subcontinent? Neil. Himalayas. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Very special guest with your next question. Hi, I'm Senator Elizabeth Warren, and here's my question. Campaign finance was transformed by what 2010 Supreme Court decision that ruled that corporations have some of the same rights as individuals to contribute to political campaigns? Yes, Nick. Citizens United. That is correct. Who was dubbed the accidental president for being the only man to serve as U.S. president and vice president without being elected to either post? Yes, I am. Tyler? No, Lexington, you want to try? Yes, Arushi. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is right. Andorra is a tiny country in Europe sandwiched between what two other countries? Yes, Omkar. Spain and France. 
Yes, in Romeo and Juliet, Romeo's best friend, Mercutio, is mortally wounded in a duel. He then says, a plague on both your what? Yes, Frank. Houses. Yes. Of the following, which is the hottest part of the sun? Is it A, the corona, B, the surface, or C, sunspots? Neil. Corona. Yes. Math question. A real estate agent received a 6% commission on the sale of a condo. If her commission was $15,000, what was the selling price of the condo? Yes, Frank. $250,000. Correct. Early electronic television sets created images with specialized vacuum tubes known as CRT, which stands for what? Yes, Nick. Cathode ray tubes. Yes, held from September 1814 to June 1815, and named for the city where it took place. What international congress reorganized Europe after the Napoleonic Wars? Yes, Nick. Congress of Vienna. Yes, the Canadian province of British Columbia borders four U.S. states, Alaska, Montana, Idaho, and what fourth state? Yes, Ian. Washington. Correct. Take a look at your screens. Another special guest with the next question. Hi, I'm Senator Ed Markey, and here's my question. The Clean Water Act was passed in 1972 after what polluted Ohio River caught on fire? in 1969. Yes, Nick. Cuyahoga River. That is correct. We move on. Which of the following are the least reactive of all known elements because their outer shells hold the maximum number of valence electrons? Is it A, noble gases, B, halogens, or C, alkali metals? Yes, Frank. Noble gases. Correct. Who's the author of What Happened, a book about the 2016 U.S. presidential election? Yes, Arushi. Hillary Clinton. Yes, Storm on the Sea of Galilee was stolen from the Isabella Gardner Museum in 1990. It was the only seascape ever painted by what Dutch artist? Yes, Frank. Rembrandt. Yes, which is the most common blood type among humans, A, B, or O? Neil. O. Correct. To date, the U.S. Supreme Court has had a total of 113 justices, 109 men and four women. In 1981, who made history as the first woman to serve on the court? Yes, Nick. Sandra Day O'Connor. Yes, often depicted as having the head of a falcon. What sun god was the most important deity in the Egyptian pantheon? Yes, Frank. Ra. Ra is correct. In The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, when Lucy first enters Narnia, she meets a fawn named what? Yes, Arushi. Tumnus. Yes. What is the highest peak in North America? Yes, Ian. McKinley. Yes. In 2013, what British scientist won the Nobel Prize for Physics for his theoretical discovery of a subatomic particle commonly called the God particle? Yes, Charles. Higgs. Yes, Peter Higgs. What best-selling book by Daniel James Brown is subtitled Nine Americans in Their Epic Quest for Gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Yes, Ian. Boys in the Boat. Yes. What famous gardens near the Louvre are named for the palace that burned down there during the Paris Commune of 1871? Yes, Ian. Tourlies. Yes. In the play Peter Pan, what is Wendy's last name? Yes, Nick. Darling. Yes, in September 2017, what Texas governor rejected Houston's request to use the state's rainy day fund to help pay for damage from Hurricane Harvey? Yes, Nick. Abbott. Yes, Greg Abbott. Tara River Canyon, the deepest canyon in Europe, is located in what Balkan country whose name means Black Mountain in several Romance languages? Yes, Nick. Montenegro. Yes, what 1964 congressional resolution gave President Johnson almost unlimited funding to wage war in Vietnam? Neil. Gulf of Tonkin resolution. Yes, hundreds of active volcanoes have been found on Io, a satellite of what planet? Yes, Neil. Jupiter. Yes, uh, the Italian humanist Boccaccio wrote what classic work of 100 tales told over a span of 10 days by 10 people? Yes, Frank. Dee the Cameron. Yes. In 1894, what president sent federal troops to Chicago to crush the Pullman Railroad strike? Nick. Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. And, uh, oh, that's the bell. That ends round one. The score right now, Andover High School, 220 points. Lexington High School, 
150 points. How about it, folks? This is the championship round. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we take a break on the high school quiz show just to kind of get to know the players, let you breathe uh, for a couple of minutes. And, of course, I've got a question. I'll ask it. Each of you will have a chance to answer it. We will start with Andover High School and you, Ian. And here it is. What is your favorite subject, and what are your plans after high school? Ian? Uh, my favorite subject is history, but I want to go to college and study computer science after high school. Okay. How about you, Frank? My favorite subject is computer science, mm -hmm. and I want to go to a college that has very strong uh, science and humanities programs. And you, Neil? My favorite subject is chemistry, and in college I'd like to study either chemical engineering or neuroscience. And Omkar? My favorite subject is math, and I'm thinking about studying electrical engineering in college. Boy, real well-rounded team right there at Lexington High School. Stephen, how about you? My favorite subject is economics, and I'd like to go to a college with a good business program. All right, Charles? Um, I like history. I don't have specific plans for college yet, but I'd like to go to a small school with a good humanities program. And Arushi? My favorite subject's English, and I'd like to go to a college nearby, but I'm not so sure about that. So you want to stay close? Yeah. And Nick? My favorite subjects are English and history, and I'd like to go to a small to medium-sized college with a strong uh, dining plan. I can... <laughs> uh, I can tell you've all got your game faces on. It is time to go head-to-head. -head. So Andover High, Lexington High, come on down. Let's go head-to-head. <laughs> All right, we are about to go head to head. I have Lexington High School on my left to Andover High School on my right. Gentlemen, you know the drill. Let's start with a handshake. And a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Here we go. Long referred to as the insurance capital of the world, what city is the capital of Connecticut? Yes. Hartford. Yes. In humans, what natural pigment is the main determinant of... Melanin? Yes. Uh, the Nobel Peace Prize award ceremony is held every year. Yes. Oslo? Yes. Founded in 1960, what cartel of 14 member states has great influence over the global price of oil? Yes. OPEC? Yes. Uh, what decade is the setting for the novel The Great Gatsby? Yes. 20s. Yes. Europe shares a landmass with what other continent? Asia. Yes. In 2014, who became the first woman to chair the U.S. Federal Reserve? Yes. Yellen. Yes. In Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, what kind of animal is the main antagonist? Shirka. Panther. No, tiger. What major city in Alaska is the traditional starting point of the annual Iditarod dog sled race? Yes. Anchorage? Yes. Anne Frank's famous diary was originally written in what language? Yes. German? No, Dutch. In 2017, what British singer won a Grammy Award for the Song of the Year for her song, Hello? Yes. Adele? Yes. Uh, during the Salem Witch Hysteria, who was the first person to confess to practicing witchcraft? Tichuba. Uh, your body's metabolism is controlled by what butterfly-shaped gland in the throat? Yes. Pituitary? No, thyroid. In 1922, what British archaeologist discovered the tomb of King Tut? Carter. Yes. In the International System of Units, what is the standard unit? Oh! That's the bell ending the head-to-head -head round. The score right now, Andover High School, 260 points. Lexington High School, 180 points. Championship round, everybody! Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Rogue One. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Lexington High School, you've got a little ground to make up. You get to choose the first category, though, and what is it going to be? Empire Strikes Back for 10, please. Okay. Questions about the Roman Empire and for 10 points. After the fall of the Roman Republic, what first emperor of Rome reduced the size of the Senate from 900 members to 600? 
Yes, Frank? Augustus. That is correct. And now, Andover, you've got the board category. A New Hope. A New Hope. Questions about peace treaties for 10 points. What 1783 peace treaty ended the Revolutionary War and recognized American independence? Yes, Arushi. Treaty of Paris. That is correct. And now, Lexington, you've got the board category. New Hope for 15, please. 15 points. Uh, the 1494 Treaty of Tordesillas aimed to settle conflicts over new lands discovered by explorers from Spain and what other country? Yes, Nick. Portugal. Portugal is right. You've still got the board, Lexington. New Hope for 20, please. Okay. Who won the Nobel Peace Prize for negotiating the Treaty of Portsmouth, which ended uh, the Russo-Japanese War in 1905? Yes, Frank. Theodore Roosevelt. That is correct. And now Andover High, you've got the board category. Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. Questions about genetics. For 10 points, the first mammal to be cloned using an adult somatic cell was a female sheep named what? Yes, Arushi. Dolly. Yes, and uh, Lexington High, you've got the board. New Hope for 25, please. Okay. 25 points here. Named for the city in Belgium where it was signed, what treaty ended the War of 1812 between the United States and Britain? Yes, Charles. The Treaty of Ghent. That is correct. You've still got the board, Lexington High. Empire Strikes Back for 15, please. For 15 points. What two-word Latin phrase refers to a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity during the first 200 years of the Roman Empire? Neil. Pax Romana. Yes, and now Andover, you've got the board. Phantom Menace, please. Phantom Menace for 10 points. Questions about spies. In 1953, amid anti-communist hysteria, what couple became the first American civilians to be executed for espionage? Yes, Frank. The Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs is right. You've got the board, Andover. Rogue One. Rogue One. All answers include the number one. And for 10 points, on November 22nd, 1963, Lyndon Johnson was sworn in as the 36th president of the United States aboard what plane? Yes, Neil. Air Force One. Correct. You've still got the board, Andover. Return of the Jedi, please. Return of the Jedi, questions about the Star Wars films. For 10 points, what sidekick to R2-D2 is fluent in over 6 million forms of communication? Yes, I am. C-3PO. That is correct. You've got the board, Andover. Return of the Jedi for 15, please. Okay. Do or do not. There is no try. What Jedi Master famously says this to Luke Skywalker in The Empire Strikes Back? Yes, Omkar. Yoda. The Yoda is right. Andover, you've got the board. We're going to turn off the Jedi, please. For 20 points, chosen for his distinctive baritone, what actor who voiced Darth Vader completed all of his lines in just two and a half hours for the original Star Wars film? Yes, Ian. James Earl Jones. Yes, you've still got the board Andover. Return of the Jedi, please. 25 points just before he's frozen in carbonite. Uh, Princess Leia tells Han Solo, I love you. What is his famous and unscripted two-word reply? Yes, Arushi. I know. I know is right. And Lexington, you've got the board. Category? Return of the Jedi for 30. 30 points. George Lucas based the framework of the original Star Wars story on The Hero with a Thousand Faces, a landmark book on comparative mythology written by whom? Charles? Campbell. Yes, Joseph Campbell. You've got the board. Lexington, you'll need a category. Phantom Menace for 15, please. Okay. 15 points. Hanged by the British for being a spy, what Revolutionary War hero is said to have declared, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country? Yes, Charles. Hale. Nathan Hale. You've still got the board, Lexington. Phantom Menace for 20 points. 20 points. What British military officer was captured and hanged as a spy in 1783 for conspiring with the American traitor Benedict Arnold? John Andre is the answer. Lexington, you've still got the board. Phantom Menace for 25. 25 points. Uh, what Dutch exotic dancer who spied for France during World War I was suspected of being a double agent for Germany and was executed by the French in 1917? Yes, Arushi. Josephine Baker. No. Uh, Andover, you want to try? Matahari is the answer. Lexington, you still have the board. Category? Phantom Menace. 30 points. A member of the notorious Cambridge Five spy ring. What a British intelligence officer was the most successful Soviet double agent of the Cold War? 
Kim Philby, the answer. Lexington, you've still got the board. You will need a category. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, this time for 20 points. In 122 AD, what emperor ordered his soldiers to build a massive wall between Roman Britain and Scotland? Yes, Omkar. Hadrian. Hadrian is right. And Andover, you now have the board. Rogue One, please. Rogue One for 15 points. Author Ken Kesey once worked as an attendant at a hospital psychiatric ward, an experience that served as the basis for what 1962 novel? Yes, Omkar. The one that flew over the cuckoo's nest. No. Uh, Lexington, uh, Nick. One that flew over the cuckoo's nest. No. One flew over the cuckoo's nest is the correct answer. And over, you've got the board. Category. Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. 15 points. Which of the following refers to the observable characteristics and traits of an individual organism? Is it A, genotype, B, phenotype, or C, genome? Yes, Neil. Phenotype? Yes, and you've got the board and over. Attack of the Clones, please. For 20 points, named after a British geneticist, what type of grid system or square is used to predict the likelihood of inheriting particular traits? Yes, Omkar. Punnett squares? Yes, you've still got the board and over. Rogue One, please. Rogue One for 20 points. Inspired from a bass line from the song Good Times by the disco group Chic, what 1980 single is one of the biggest hits ever released by the British rock band Queen? Yes, Nick. Andover, you want to try it? Another one bites the dust. Uh, Andover, you've got the board category. Attack of the Clones. Uh, this time for 25 points. Uh, what term beginning with the letter A refers to two alternate forms of a gene that occur at the same place on a chromosome? Yes, Charles. Allele. Yes, and you've got the board, Lexington. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, this time for 25 points. Uh, blamed for a fire that destroyed nearly two-thirds of Rome in 64 AD, uh, what emperor was so despised that his name was struck from official Roman records after his death? Yes, Arushi. Nero. Nero is right. You've got the board, Lexington. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, for 30 points, an enormous column in Rome commemorates what emperor who expanded the Roman Empire to its farthest boundaries? Yes, Stephen. Trajan. That is right. You've got the board, Lexington. New Hope. A new Hope. 30 points at stake here. In 1555, Holy Roman Emperor Charles V gave German rulers the right to choose their own state religions under what agreement named for a city in Bavaria? Yes, Nick. Peace of Augsburg. That is correct. You've got the board, Lexington. Rogue One. Rogue One for 25 points. Uh, soon to be a major motion picture directed by Steven Spielberg. What debut novel by Ernest Klein idolizes 80s pop culture, especially video games? Yes, Arushi. Ready Player One. That is correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. Oh, I'm sorry. That ends the category round. The score right now, it's close. Andover High School, 410 points. Lexington High School, 385 points. Whoa! Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It's the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Teams, good luck. And here we go. Approximately 22 million people live in what capital city of China? Ian. Beijing. Yes, what color forms the outermost arc of a rainbow? Neil. Red. Yes, in 1938, Nazi Germany annexed what region of ethnic? Yes, and Nick. Sudetenland. Yes. Canada is made up of how many provinces? Ten. In February 2017, after ten seasons, who was fired as head coach of the Boston Bruins? Neil. Claude Julien. Yes. What 1678 religious allegory by John Bunyan was at one time? Yes, Frank. Pilgrim's Progress. Yes. The siege of Sevastopol lasted from 1854 to 1855. During what war? Crimean yes. War. Yes? I mean war. Yes. Uh, how old was Donald Trump when he was elected U.S. president in 2016? Yes, I am. 69? No, 70. In 2017, what Apple CEO called for a massive campaign against, yes, Frank? Cook. Yes. What order of mammals includes whales, porpoises, and dolphins? Yes, Cetaceans? Sir. Yes. Uh, what superhero is created by William Moulton Marsden, inventor of the lie detector? 
Yes, Neil. Wonder Woman? Yes, Malcolm Turnbull is the current prime minister of what country? Yes, Frank. Australia. Yes. Uh, who directed the 80s teen movies, The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles? Hughes. Yes. Uh, who explores his favorite theme, The Death of a Beautiful Young Woman, in its poem, Annabelle Lee? Uh, Frank. Poe. Yes. What prominent American family of the Gilded Age built a famous mansion in Newport called the Breakers? Vanderbilt. Ne yes. Uh, what cannibal from a fictional island in the South Pacific is Ishmael's best friend? Yes, Frank. Queequeg. Yes, he got it in. That's the end of the game. This year's high school quiz show champion is Andover High School. A final score of 570 points. Lexington High, the runner-up with 485 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game and another great season. And Andover High School now is going to move on to compete in the first ever high school quiz show invitational against champion teams from Maine, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island. So be sure to tune in. We'll see you all back here next week for a high school quiz show. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. Production of WGBH.